Time now to take a look at the steward report for today and Brad Lewis is with me again. Brad, before we do get into race number one, just tell us about how the tracker gets downgraded, what you look for, who you talk to to come up with that decision. Yeah, that's right, Evan. So we started this morning at a good four. We had about six to seven mils overnight. So I spoke to uh, Cameron Sutherland. I was in constant uh, contact with Cameron Sutherland, Perth Racing Curator. Uh, he walked the track again at about 10, 20, uh, 10, 15 this morning. And, and we felt between us that uh, given that we'd had further rain, we could go then to a uh, soft five. And then as we proceeded through the day with further rain, we, we ended up getting back to a soft seven uh, late in the day. So that process, do you go by times? Do you speak to the jockeys? Uh, how does it come about? Yeah, that's right. You look at the overall condition of the track, you're looking at your times, you're also speaking to, uh, to riders and assessing the, uh, the state of the track, walking back, uh, look, looking at how it's uh, been affected as races are run on it. So, yeah, it's a, it's a number of um, steps in that process, Adam. Well, let's take a look at the races then. And in race number one, uh, Nobel Image didn't have a lot of luck. No, that's right. Caught wide for the majority of the event. Also, uh, lame. It did come back showing some slight signs of lameness in the off hind leg. So we get a report from uh, trainer Simon Miller and Guest Express caught wide. Obviously, with a couple of the, the, the conditions today, some of the horses aren't going to handle it, and race two, Saker looked to be one of those. Yeah, that's right. We did get the report on the scales from Randy Tan that Saker didn't handle the track today. In race number three, Universal Law, this horse was well supported, but missed a kick and just seemed to be green down the straight because it had its opportunity. That's right. It did wobble around in the straight, as you say there, Adam, and lost about three links at the start and then failed to really muster any early pace and held up also at the 250 metre mark, so a very unlucky runner. And Wings of Hope, we did expect to see it up on the pace. We got out of the barriers quite awkwardly, shifted into the jump and then uh, other runners uh, moved up to us inside. It was uh, forced to go back from there. In race number four, it was the listed rack into a stakes, of course, over the 1,500 metres and it was a pretty cleanly run race in the end. There wasn't too much to report. No, not too much there, Adam. Uh, lightening in my veins, caught wide from the 600 and also the rider dropped the whip about the 50 metre mark. Akadasset in the Grand Sand Cup, I believe, it returned lame? It did, yeah. Poor performance there from Akadasset and uh, lame in the off four legs. So I've asked for a clearance uh, from Dion Luciani for Akadasset, but it will now go to the paddock and carry the nation, uh, one of the horses today that didn't handle the track. Now, when you do the form in race number six, Ukros is one of the horses that rocks up with flippers and a snorkel. Normally loves these type of conditions. What did you find post-race? Yeah, not today. So we had the vets look at Zuccaros. It looked disappointing. Came back with an elevated heart rate. So again, this horse will be monitored over the next few days and we'll get a report through. Race number seven, there's another horse that enjoyed the soft track, and that was Bevel. I think it had had three attempts for three placings on a soft surface, but didn't seem to run uh, that well today. No, not today, Adam. Uh, slow to recover and uh, going to the paddock now. And what about in race number eight? Anything to report there? No, it looked fairly fairly clear. The last race, we'll go back and review that now, and uh, people can read that in the in the stewards report uh, at the end of the meeting. Certainly can. They can go to the Rawa website there uh, to take a look at the stewards report. Brad, great work by you and the team again today. Thanks, Adam. Hope you've enjoyed all of the action here from Ascot.